And good evening. We began tonight with the measles in South Carolina. So far, at least three cases have been reported and doctors are encouraging people to get vaccinated to prevent the spread. News 19's Lauren Thomas tells us more. The State Department of Health and Environmental Control is still investigating three cases of measles in the upstate. According to DHEC, all three cases are of children who are unvaccinated, not of school age, and do not attend daycare. The Center for Disease Control categorizes an outbreak as three or more linked cases. Dr. Anna Catherine Birch, who specializes in pediatric infectious disease at Palmetto Health Children's Hospital, says she encourages vaccinations. The number one way to help prevent the spread of measles in a population of children is to have them vaccinated appropriately. Dr. Birch says in recent years, parents have been skeptical of the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine, also known as MMR, because of false reports that say the vaccine is linked to autism. Scientific journals have proven that the data was false and that the MMR is safe to give to children and that it is not a cause of autism. Therefore, it is something that every child should get. Doctors recommend the MMR vaccine at 12 months with a booster shot at the age of four. Measles is considered a very contagious disease caused by a virus and it can spread through the air when an infected person coughs or sneezes. Initial symptoms include fever, cough and a runny nose, followed by a rash that usually lasts five or six days. In Columbia, Lauren Thomas, News 19, WLTX. Again, DHEC is continuing their investigation into the measles cases in the upstate. They do know the first case was a result of a patient traveling outside the United States.